Hey guys, so for today's new video, I have this makeup look on this super sparkly, really smoky, navy blue smoky eye. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I really, I don't know what it was, but again, just popped into my head. I was like, I haven't played with a beautiful smoky navy shimmery shade on the lid before. So I don't know, I just had this look in mind of this really pretty navy shade that just has a little bit of sparkles in it. It's not glittery or anything, but it just has the slightest bit of shimmer. I also tested out for the first time the new Sephora Pro Warm Palette. So if you guys want to see kind of a first impression on that and also how to get this smoky, shimmery, and navy blue smoky eye, then make sure to keep on watching. So to get started, I'm going to apply the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer, one of my absolute faves. I'm just going to put this all over the face before foundation. So for foundation today, I'm actually using one of my Holy Grail found, actually probably just my top Holy Grail foundation. Um, I also really love the Wet n Wild one, it's hard to choose, but I haven't used this in so long because I've just been stuck on other foundations. My eye is a little itchy. So I think I'm gonna use today the shade Honey Bronze and we'll see how that goes. And of course, blend everything out with my Beauty Blender. Okay, I clearly should not have used Honey Bronze and I should have just stuck with Tawny. But it's okay, we're gonna make it work, you guys. You guys already know, I always make it work. <laughs> so to conceal and highlight, I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like I haven't used any other concealer in like ages, but I'm just like obsessed with this one. Blend it out with my Sigma 3D HD sponge. You guys know the drill. I love this for underneath the eye. So I'm not setting the under eye again. I know that made some of you guys like cringe, but I just, I don't really have to set the under eye with this Tarte concealer because it just dries down nicely. So we're moving on to cream, bronzing, and contouring. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild sticks in the shade Oaks on You and Call Me Maple for some extra dark definition. So first things first, we're gonna do Oaks on You on the cheek and also up here, forehead. And lately I've just been doing it on the chin and underneath the lip. And then whatever's kind of under the chin, I will just like drag it to the sides a little bit. I almost forgot the nose. And I'm just gonna set that a little bit with this L'Oreal Glam Bronzer. So I am just gonna pop on a little bit of blush and this is NARS Luster. I'm gonna highlight the face with the Estee Lauder Heat Wave, yeah, Heat Wave. <laughs> okay, so I just went ahead and did my brows and I just also primed my eyes with the Tarte Concealer. So for today, we're gonna be testing out the Sephora Pro Palette. I'm really hoping this goes good because I have an, a, like an eye look that I wanna do. And if these shadows don't look good and don't blend good, then it's gonna kind of ruin the look. So I guess we'll just see how this goes. Um, so this is how the palette looks. So beautiful. This is the warm um, edition, I believe. There's like three different ones. How gorgeous are these colors? I did just use one of the shades to set the Tarte concealer and it was very powdery, like a lot of kickback. That doesn't really bother me, but I figured I'd let you guys know. So maybe just as a nice transition, we'll go in with this shade right here and that shade is called Saddle. This palette is super heavy too. Like it's gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. The shades look beautiful, but it is very heavy, but you do get a super big mirror. So I, I actually really like that. And it's a really nice quality clear mirror. Like it looks really good, but it's heavy to like hold up. <laughs> Yeah, so definitely super powdery, a lot of kickback, but again, I personally don't mind that. It's so heavy, I can't even hold it up. That's one thing I'm not liking because the mirror is so good, like such good quality. I wish I could like hold it up and use it. So the next shade I'm gonna take is this beautiful shade. This is called Clay. So I'm just gonna take that right into the crease here on the outer corner and also bring it down. I'm gonna dust off the excess product on the brush and use that same brush to blend it out and bring it in. I'm gonna pack it on a little bit more, dust it off the excess shadow on the brush, and now I'm gonna use that same brush again to blend this out. 
So, so far the shadows are actually blending okay. Um, it just kind of seems like they're just not like the easiest to blend. Like you do have to kind of like sit there a little bit and work with them. Um, and it just, they're not ultra, ultra pigmented. They're definitely pigmented. I mean, clearly, you, you know, you get pigmentation. It's just not ultra pigmented. And I feel like nowadays there's so many amazing shadows on the market that it's like, if you want to be like, you know what I mean? Like it's hard to top. So you got to come out with like some ultra pigmented, ultra blendable shadows. And I don't know if this measures up to that. So next I'm going to pick up this shade in the corner here. And I'm also going to place that on the outer V in that um, backwards C motion. So I'm actually going to take this shade. Actually, let's do this one right here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of extra definition in, again, the backwards C and create that like little wing shape. So I really want to do a beautiful smoky navy blue kind of shimmery eye. Nothing glittery, but just with that little pop of shimmer. So I kind of went through my eyeshadow palette store and I came up with these three that I'm going to kind of combine to create the look that I have in mind. So this is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. And this shade is so beautiful right here, um, but it just has a little bit too much purple in it when I swatch it. So I'm actually gonna do some mixing. So we're also gonna take the Stila, which shade is this? This is in the shade Body. This is the Eyes of the Windows palette. And I'm gonna take this beautiful smoky navy right here and mix it with the Urban Decay. So I don't want this look to be cut crease or anything like that. I want it to be beautiful and smoky. So I'm going to take this brush. This is the Medium Sweeper E54. So it has a little bit of a fluffier edge. It's not going to be like cut or anything. And that way I can kind of blend the blue up a little bit. So I think what we're going to do is take Minx first, which is super duper pigmented. I'm actually going to tap off the brush hopefully we don't get fallout um, and then I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this shade from the Stila body palette so now I'm just going to apply that all over the lid so pretty and I'm gonna kind of sweep it into that outer corner so first I'm actually just gonna take alone the um, Urban Decay shade see how much more pigmented it is I feel like the Urban Decay shade is so pigmented. Don't worry, you guys. I know this looks crazy right now, but we're going to blend and everything like that. So I just dusted off what product was on there, and then now I'm going to go into just the Stila shade from the Body Palette and really pack that on. So with no product on it, I'm going to take the Morphe M15, and we're just gonna go directly into that crease and slowly blend this out. And again, we have no product here, we're just doing blending. Also, don't mind how I got some blue in the inner corner, it's not a big deal. You can just take a Q-tip and remove that with a, with a little bit of makeup remover. I'm just gonna focus on blending the blue out for now. So I'm actually going to pack on more of that Stila shadow and I'm using more of the Stila one because it's less dark and it has more shimmer. So that's kind of what I'm going for. You won't really see the shimmer unless, you know, you're up close. Maybe you guys can see a tiny, tiny bit of it kind of glistening back. But that's what I love about the Stila one. And then, of course, just blend out again. So I want to add a little bit of extra sparkle, so I'm going to take the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette, but I know there's also a lot of fallout in this palette, so I'm going to wet the brush to avoid that and also to intensify it, but I'm also going to take a little cotton pad and fold it up and use that so I don't get any more fallout. And I'm just going to press that on a little bit. It's just going to add a little bit of extra glitter and intensity. So for the under eye, I'm going to take that first transition shade saddle that we used and just blend that underneath. I'm also going to take the shade clay and just put that underneath the eye and really smoke that out. And then take, take that deepest shade and just apply that on the outer corners. And I'm going to see if I can use this moon dust shadow and just press it really close to the lower lash. 
So taking the Marc Jacobs out of the blue pencil, I'm gonna pop just a little bit of that in the waterline. And then I'm gonna use that same brush just to like smudge it out a little bit. So for the inner corner, we're gonna use the shade High Wire and it's just a really beautiful like icy silver blue. So I just figured I would show you guys because I just realized that this eyeshadow from Anastasia in the shade Star Cobalt, so beautiful. I feel like if you wanted to avoid mixing the shades that I did, you could totally just use this. So, so, so pretty. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of mascara and then I will go ahead and apply some falsies. So now that I just applied some falsies, we're gonna move on to the lips and I cannot choose what lip color to wear. I'm thinking um, Marc Jacobs Fawn. Hmm. I don't know, fawn over me? That would look pretty. Or if I should just stick with, I've been obsessed with Dose of Color Supernatural. So I think I'm gonna go with first MAC Etc. Lip Liner. And then I am gonna go with Dose of Color Supernatural and just fill that in. And then I'm actually gonna add in just a little bit of Marc Jacobs Yours to Try, just right in the center. So that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I'm totally obsessed with the sparkly navy. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if there's any other colors you wanna see me kind of play with, then definitely let me know. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.